All right, good morning, guys, or should I say good evening? I'm not sure which time is better. It's about three o'clock in the morning, which is when this tip comes in handy because who doesn't need another drink after they leave the, leave the bar? And who doesn't need a drink when we're in quarantine and our sleep schedules are completely fucked? So right now I'm gonna show you how to make my mango surprise. Give me a second. We're gonna get all of our ingredients and I'm gonna get right back to you. All right, so what you're gonna need is some pineapples, some mangoes, some strawberries. Um, if you want, for a little bit of kick, we're gonna add some bold ginger ale, um, and I'm gonna show you how to add all these in later. Some orange juice, some lemonade, and I got these from Walmart, but you can also get them from any like Mexican food goods store. And this is the mango flavor. It's really, really good. And it's very kind of like syrupy and sweet, so it makes a good mix. And of course you're gonna need ice and a blender. So we're gonna start by adding at least eight pieces of ice into our blender. So I have four and that's eight. That's if your ice cubes are shaped like mine. If you have thicker ones, like the cube shaped ones, I would try to add about six and if you need more then you'll know. So my fruit, as you can see by my other video, when I said that I prep my fruit, um, it's already frozen. So that's why I don't use as much ice. So I'm gonna add about one, two, three, four, five mangoes. And I'm gonna add three strawberries because I wanted to have more of a mango flavor than the strawberry. I just like the little hint of strawberry. I like strawberries with everything. I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned this before. Then we're gonna take about the same amount of pineapples because who doesn't love a pineapple mango smoothie? Like, come the fuck on. But yeah, so we're gonna take the same amount of pineapples and add that. And then after you add that, you put that to the side. And then we're gonna start adding. Also, I bought these for my daughter, but I tried one and they were really good. So that's why I started using this. So don't like laugh, but go ahead and poke your hole in there. It might be a struggle if you're like not good at this. And then start pouring about, until you get about here. Don't pour all of it in, because we're also gonna put other juices in. Don't do that, focus on that. And then pour about a cap full of lemon juice in there, or lemonade. I'm so used to using lemon juice. So a cap full of lemonade. And then you could use the same cap if you want, or if you have a measuring cup, I put like, or a measuring spoon, I put about like three or four teaspoons of lemonade inside. I'm struggling like to open this. And then I'm gonna also put like a cap full of orange juice inside. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up my ginger ale. I'm gonna put a cap full of my ginger ale inside. All right, so I don't want it to be too soda. And then after that, I'm gonna put my top in and I'm gonna go ahead and start blending. To the blender come closer so we're going to go ahead and make sure that it's on high and then we're going to put it on high. before you make your mango surprise it's going to be a little bit thick so if you do want it a little bit more wordy, I suggest adding a little bit more liquids. But this is like the consistency that I like my smoothies. So it's gonna be a little bit thicker for me. So there you have it. And it's like super delicious. So, so good. Very good mix. Um, And now I'm gonna show you how to add a twist to it. So stay tuned, give me a second. I'm just gonna enjoy this. So this is my Pomero anniversary rum, and I haven't found the best mixture to mix this with yet. 
So I've been trying to test out different flavors just so I can get the perfect, you know, balance. So I figured since I made this my mango surprise, it gives you the perfect island vibes with adding a little bit of rum. So if you see my cap, I'm not putting too much. So this would be about a shot. I don't have any shot glasses. So this is how much I'm going to put in mine. And so after I've added that to there, I'm just going to re-blend. Yep. And I'm going to take the rest of it and go ahead and pour it into my wine glass. All right, and that's how you add a kick to my mango surprise. So I hope you like both the virgin and the twist versions. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share. And if you want to know any other trips, tricks, tips, or recipe, I will be posting some more ASAP. Thank you for viewing. See you.